Um, so if I disappear for a moment, I'm just going to go put him away if he comes out. So um, let's go ahead and close our eyes and take a few breaths just to settle into this moment now. Breathing into the feeling of your body on the ground. You might adjust your legs a bit. Move your feet, wiggle your toes. The sensation of your body where it touches the mat. So, like my lower legs and ankles. into the chest, awareness into the chest, how you're feeling in the front, in the back, the upper back, the heart space. Bring the hands together, either one hand over the other, gently pressing into the heart, or hands together. If there's an intention or a statement you want to make for your practice for yourself today, and we'll easily let that go. Hands to the legs in your cat cow. Opening forward and back, just breathing.
Take an extra breath, leaning back. Take an extra breath, leaning forward. Getting into the length of your poses. Good. Let that go and roll the shoulders down. Again, we'll get into the length here. That might just be what's happening today. Kind of getting into the space between the breaths, getting into the slow exhales the moment of pause and presence when we can just go. So let's try, stretch out and up, inhale. And exhale out. Stretching the arms, relaxing them to the sides. Inhale, reach up, we'll go back down, inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale out. Take the arms across to give yourself a hug. Round in a bit. Really feel your arms drawing in. A little gentle squeeze. Inhale, take your arms up to the sky. Exhale, push them out and down. Take the arm to the opposite leg. Rounding in again. So we get into different angles. In the shoulders, the neck, the back. the hands back to the legs. We'll take some circles. A moment to let go of trying too much in any direction. Change direction. Okay, go ahead and change your legs if you'd like to. Continuing some cat cows with that big long cycle of breath. Even if you stay forward or back for a full inhale and exhale. Come up and take the arms, reach up, interlace the fingers at the top and press, open up the shoulders. But just check into your neck, like am I, am I straining? Am I okay there? Another inhale with the arms up, then we'll exhale to take the hands forward and lean back. Gentle, let go of the hands, bring them forward, forward fold, three big exhales in our seated uh, forward fold. Relax what you can. Walk your hands back up, take them behind you, press down and lift up the heart. Full breath, exhale. It's easy, come out of that and roll forward into a table. Continuing through cat cow.
Lots of intention and noticing along the back. And coming back through your table, stretch your right leg back. Take a breath, draw your chin in a little bit. Bring the toes down and push into that foot. Stretching through the back of your leg. Gentle warm up there. Back to tabletop, other leg back. And then we'll bring that foot down, push down into your foot. Good, back to table. Take another round of your cat cow, open. And exhale, round. And make your way up to your down dog and spend some time. I think like 10 breaths. So pull it out. Back in as you're here breathing, checking in with your intention or your statement. Noticing if your mind wanders, just bring it gently back to where you are. My hands are on the mat, my feet are on the mat. I am here now. Another few breaths. And uh, come all the way forward. Slowly rise up to mountain pose. And we'll take a moment standing in mountain. If you'd like to roll forward and back, maybe getting into your legs, sensing your feet on the ground. Sensing your center of gravity, the center of your body. Take a moment in stillness, open palms, softness throughout your body, just a gentle standing. Good, inhale. Come up, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift to lengthen, exhale to forward fold. Bend into the knees, really round it on yourself, relax in. Halfway lift, forward fold. Halfway lift into plank pose. Plank breathing. Exhale, draw your knees down. If you like to pad your knees, we're gonna roll forward and back a little bit. Um, so if you need something, put something under your knees. As you draw your hips back, low belly in like cat pose, stretching back, rolling forward. You might need to walk your hands back underneath the shoulders a little bit, lift up the feet, knee plank, drawing back. And do this a few times with your breath. Inhale draws you forward. And I exhale in my knee plank and then inhale creates the movement. Exhale, takes my hips as far back as I'm okay with in my knees and my hips and my back and shoulders. 
Inhale, moves you. Exhale at the at your uh, knee plank. Inhale, moves. And the exhale just settles into it. So we find that pause within the exhale. Drawing forward. This time, come on down. Exhale down. Cobra. Let it go. Four more cobras. And push up to down dog. Take a couple more breaths. Stretch the left leg back. Nice inhale here. Exhale, draw the foot forward and come up into <laughs> your crescent lunge. Left foot forward, crescent lunge. Ease into it. And checking back in with the feeling of the breath. Nice full inhales and soft exhale. Good. Bring your hands down. Step back into plank. Breathe. Bring the knees down, lower it all the way down. Cobra. Push back to down dog. Moving through your breath. Inhale to take the right leg up. And step it forward. Come up. Crescent lunge over here. And connect into the breath. Right, bring your hands down, step back. Bring your knees down, lower all the way down. Inhale to Cobra, push to your table, tabletop. A few rounds of cat cows, open up. Take the hands forward, coming up to down dog. Stretch your left leg back. Exhale to step it all the way forward. Bring your back foot to warrior one. Settle in. Drawing up across the chest. From that back leg, we get this lift up through the heart. 
through the arms. Good, let's step forward. Release your back foot, bring it forward, mountain. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to forward fold. Halfway lift, step back into your plank pose. Bring the knees down and shift your hips back. We're gonna do this again. It's like rolling forward and back. Using the breath, only so much that everything feels okay. The next time you come forward, inhale your way forward and exhale, come down. Inhale to Cobra, exhale back to Down Dog. Stretch your right leg back, three leg up. Exhale to step it forward, back foot to warrior one. Come up, here we are. Release your back foot, step forward. Good. Inhale, lift up, mountain. Upward salute to forward fold. Halfway lift into plank pose. Come through your chaturanga. In a knee plank or a full plank. Cobra or up dog. Push back to down dog. And stretch your right leg up, right leg. Exhale, step it forward. Back foot comes back to warrior one, rise up. Big inhale to the sky, exhale to settle into your pose. Lengthen out your front leg into your pyramid. And spend a little time, adjust, relax, letting go. Settling your heart. Head into your knee, come up, step forward. Inhale, reach up, forward fold, let it go. Half lift and take the right leg all the way back. Step it back, back, back. Pad your knee if you'd like to, and we'll bring that knee down. Taking a little breath here, lifting up the arms. 
Lengthen out your front leg. Hands down, point your toes up. Drawing back through the pelvis again. So the heart comes forward, the pelvis. The sacrum goes back. Now bend into your knee. We get this opposite lifting of the heart, drawing downward through the sacrum. You could almost imagine that these like uh, different charges, like magnetic charges up and lowered. And then I draw my heart forward, lengthening my front leg and the sacrum is rolling back. Softening the heart. Bend the knee, arms up. Heart up. One more time, hands down. Lengthen out. Bend your front knee. We're gonna twist if you wanna bring your back knee up. Open across the chest. Engage your shoulder blade back. So there's that top shoulder blade. There's strength there. Exhale, release the hand down. Step back into plank pose. Come through chaturanga and up and down dog. Reconnect. Stretch your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Back foot come into warrior one. Lengthen out into pyramid. The heart tips forward. The sacrum lifts up. Tailbone is lifting upwards as we're relaxing down. Come back into your front knee, rise up and step forward. Mountain. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale to forward fold. Half lift and the left leg is coming all the way back. Bring the knee down. Arms up, big stretch up. And here we go back and forth with this front leg. Lengthen now. Getting into your exhales. Softening the exhales. Inhale, draws up. Exhale, hands down, lengthen out. Inhale, bend your knee, right, reach up. Exhale, hands down, lengthen up. Bend your front knee coming into your twist. Exhale, release your hands, step back. Come through your chaturanga and up into your down dog.
Step all the way forward. Rise up. Mountain. Open out onto your mat. Spending some time in your wide forward fold. Bend your knees and come up. And let's open out to the right, setting up into this wide uh, warrior two position, and we'll just take a little time rising and sinking with it. into the legs a little bit more in this wide angle settle into a side angle stretch out with the inhales think about the length you're creating with the exhales think about the slight rotation Lightness in your bottom arm. Come up to your triangle. Then that knee reverse your warrior up and over side stretch. Let's rotate the foot back. Bring your hands behind you if that feels okay to do a wide forward fold with the arms. The hands interlaced behind. A little micro bend of the elbows if you do. Hands down, down the legs, give a big stretch side to side. Come up. Cutting up the other way, left side. It's a little time to rise and sink into it. Getting into this inner leg, front leg. Up into your side angle. And breathe. Check your hands are open. And softness, you could open your fingers, draw them in. Come up to triangle. Reverse your warrior, bend your knee, lots of this energy up and over, stretching out. A 
and let that go. Rotate the foot back into your wide forward fold. And just take a moment here, doing what feels good for you. If you want to twist, if you want to roll your shoulders, bend your knees, stretch out. Whatever feels good. The time coming up. Your way to your mountain pose, just standing again. We'll come to tree pose, right leg. Hug that up. Open out to set up in your tree. You can take any option for your arms. I'm gonna bring my hands to my low back, fingers pointing downward, and just spend a little time opening elbow to elbow across the chest. You might like this as well. Drawing my elbows back without necessarily pushing forward through the ribs, more like space across the chest. Easy slide your hands down wherever they have been, let it go. And go to the leg. Stand onto your other side. Here we are, tree pose. You might choose a different arm expression today. <laughs> Easy, let it go. Just stand back on the first side and stretch the quads. If you'd like to take your quad stretch to a dancer pose, up to you. Let's spend a moment with the quads first. Knees out. Take a moment. Let go of that first side. Maybe remember what your intention was, what your statement you were wanting to work with. And we'll try. Other side. Setting up for. And if you'd like to come into dancer, take it slow. Okay, ease out. We'll do a little side stretch before we come down. 
take the um, right foot over the uh, front of the left, angled out, or angled in really. Reach your arms up and we'll stretch the, so my right leg is the one in front. I'm going to stretch my hands over to the right. Hips to the left. Opening through the side of the ribs. Exhale, release. Other side. And exhale out. Good. Come on back to the front of your mat. We'll come down. Forward fold. If you're in your forward fold here, take a moment. And if you want to come down into a frog squat, heading into the knees. I always end up shifting my weight side to side, kind of making room here. Making time coming back into your tabletop. Look there, I can get there. We're gonna be coming into a um, pigeon or figure four. So from your table, you can take a moment in the cat cow. And set up into your pigeon or figure four. I'll start mine with the left leg up, sliding the knee forward to the wrist and settle in. Shift out. And come to your other side.
make your way out. Come down to your child's pose in your time. Roll up to a seat, bringing the feet together for your butterfly forward fold. Take your time. Come up for deer pose, leaning over to your left leg. Take your right foot close up to the side of your hip. Settle into your seat. Turn over to the left. And just take a moment here, filling into this hip. Just watching, you know, mindful of what we feel, where we feel it. Rotate back through, coming to uh, as far reclined as you feel comfortable with this position. You might walk your hands all the way back. You might state your hands, forearm. Make your way up, lean over, and take that leg back out. Other side. Moving to the right to set up the left foot. Turning over to the right. Here we are, spend a moment. And back to recline. And ease out from here. Just take both legs out. Sometimes when I have both legs out, I like to put like a little gentle pillow underneath, just in the backs of my knees, feel, get a little, get a little comfort out of it. And I'm not pushing my legs down on accident. I can still straighten out my leg like this, but um, just giving a little relief. Stretch up, fold.
Walk your hands up. We're just gonna come lay down. Go ahead and roll to your back. Come to your happy baby. Start to use the legs to try to um, shift around on my back and find a little comforting pressure through all parts of my back, like just kind of rolling. There's this part, like a little massage rolling across the muscle. Bring your feet down. Take your right leg and stretch it up. Slide your hands behind that leg. And we're just taking a moment, one more moment with the hamstrings on this side. Change. the feet down and we'll come into an easy twist. A little time settling in layer by layer, letting go. And just reconnecting to the breath. Now to the other side. Mm -hmm. Then we settle into place. We find what we're holding and what we could let go of. And we breathe into what remains here. Knees out, going back to your neutral, You're shifting the legs side to side, letting things settle in. If you're comfortable in a butterfly leg position or 
daydreamer. Taking three big breaths in either pose. to take any other poses if there's anything else that you need today. Any form of Shavasana uh, when you're ready, any position if you want to. Ooh, I'm stretchy. Stretch out into like kind of a bigger shape, like a, a star maybe with the arms overhead, just taking up a little space as one option. 